data and sampling. All fieldwork forms part of a geographical inquiry, which has six stages. Introduction and planning, methods and data collection, data presentation, data analysis, conclusions, and evaluation. A crucial part of the methods and data collection part of the process is sampling. Sampling makes data collection manageable. It is a shortcut method for investigating a whole population or area. It involves collecting data on a small part of the population or area, which is then used to inform what the whole picture is like. It would not be possible to investigate every square inch of a riverbed and banks, every street in a city or every pebble on a beach. There simply would not be enough time, energy, equipment or access to sites to make this a reality. Geographers instead must select an appropriate sampling strategy for their fieldwork which enables their data to be the most representative of the area or population they are studying. There are three main types of sampling. Systematic, stratified, and random. We will look at each of them in turn. With systematic sampling, samples are chosen in a systematic or regular way. This can be done in a number of ways. For example, the sample could be regularly numbered, such as here, where every fourth person is selected, or the samples could be evenly distributed such as every 10 metres along a river. Advantages of systematic sampling are that it is more straightforward than random sampling. A grid doesn't necessarily have to be used, sampling just has to be at uniform levels. A good coverage of the study area can be more easily achieved than using random sampling. Disadvantages are that it is more biased as not all members or points have an equal chance of being selected. It may therefore lead to over- or under-representation of a particular pattern. Random sampling is the least biased of the sampling techniques because every member of the population has an equal chance of being selected. In order to be completely random, though, samples must be selected by generating numbers using a special method such as random number tables or a random number generator online. These numbers can then be used to identify people as grid coordinates, measurements along a transect, or any way that works for your study. Advantages of random sampling are that it can be used with large sample populations. It avoids bias. Disadvantages are that the area or population may not be fairly represented if the random numbers don't hit certain areas. And it may not be possible to collect data from each selected sample. For example, access may be limited. Stratified sampling is used when there are relevant subsets of the sample which make up known proportions of the total. For example, different social groups within a city, zones within a city, or a meander as opposed to a straight section of river channel. The sample would be stratified in line with these proportions to ensure that the sample is representative of the whole. Advantages of stratified sampling are that it can be used in combination with random or systematic sampling. It can generate results which are more representative of the whole population or area. It's applicable to many geographical inquiries and comparisons can be made between the subsets. Disadvantages are that the numbers or proportions of the subsets need to be known accurately for the technique to work properly. And it can be hard to identify people's age or social background effectively. Summary In order to make data collection within a geographical inquiry manageable, geographers use sampling. This is a shortcut method for investigating a whole population or area. There are three main types, systematic, random and stratified, each with their own advantages and disadvantages. Keywords Population, the entire group that an investigation will draw conclusions about. 
representative when sampled data reflects the characteristics of the total population or area. Bias, when data is unrepresentative of the whole. Sample, a smaller portion of a population or area chosen to represent the whole.